Hi Aries, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your angel and spirit guide message reading for you for calling love and passion into your life. Now this can be romantically, this can be personally, this can be, you know, day to day. It is having life be filled with love and with passion. All right, so let's dive into this reading and see what your angels and your spirit guides have to say. I'm going to be starting with your spirit guide animal cards. These are also your totem animals for this time. If you see these animals in the wild or you see an image of these animals, this is really your angels and your spirit guides tapping you on the shoulder Aries, saying, remember this message. So angel and spirit guide message for Aries, calling love and passion into your life. Angel and spirit guide message for Aries, calling love and passion into your life. Angel and spirit guide message for Aries, calling love and passion into your life. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. All right. So we have the snake spirit, time to heal, which I love that. And we have the otter spirit, you are never alone. So that is really quite beautiful. And I mean, what more do we need in our lives right now than time to heal and to know that we are part of something so much greater? And also just to have that love radiating through the world is really, really, really important right now. And then we have your chakra cards. Angel and spirit guide message for Aries, calling love and passion into your life. Angel and spirit guide message for Aries, calling love and passion into your life. Angel and spirit guide message for Aries calling love and passion into your life. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. So we have inner strength, which is the solar plexus chakra, and we have play, which is the heart chakra. So knowing and embracing that you are stronger than you think you are, Aries, and you already know that you're really strong, you are calling on your inner strength, your inner power. You're having like this shell, kind of you're coming out of the shell and you're embracing your heart, your joy, your happiness. And just knowing that play is a huge part of love, just being happy and being connected. Angel and spirit guide message for Aries, calling love and passion into your life. Angel and spirit guide message for Aries, calling love and passion into your life. Angel and spirit guide message for Aries, calling love and passion into your life. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. All right. So at the heart of everything, we have the Queen of Wands, which is you represented in the minor arcana, you're represented as the wands. In the major arcana, you're represented as the emperor. So you have the Queen of Wands right here. You're crowned by the Lover's Guard, which is amazing, especially for this reading. This is also a Gemini energy, so there's a lot of duality around you during this time. We have the Eight of Cups, the Tower, a lot of change is coming in. You have the Strength card, so strong Leo presence. Leo is also a fire sign energy represented by the Wands, by the Strength card in the Major Arcana. We have the Five of Wands. We have the Three of Swords. All right, that makes sense. You have the Queen of Pentacles. Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You have temperance right here, another another fire sign energy coming through. This is Sagittarian energy, a time frame, November 22nd to December 21st. And then we have the Queen of Cups. I love that you have the Queen energy for you during this time of love. This is being much more behind the scenes. You don't need to be in the middle of everything. You know, kind of, yeah, you don't. You don't need to be seen. You need to be kind of, it's a more quiet, more introspective time. It's a more of a time where I know what I have and I'm going to hold on to it and I'm going to nurture it. So with your love, you have your heart. Your heart is absolutely strong. It's absolutely gorgeous. You have this prosperity that is really calling to what you love within your life. And you have this passion, this fire, this intuition. That at times, Aries, right now, you're not going to listen to because of the heartbreak, but there's this change that is coming, yeah, that is coming around you where you're looking at your heart, your soul, yourself, what you desire, and you're going to see a truth that moves you from the chaos and from the chaos of people around you. It can be 
a chaos of a, a Leo energy, but it can also be just the chaos of the world in general, where you're sitting there and you're looking at yourself and saying, I can absolutely go down the rabbit hole of chaos and anger and, you know, everything like that, the opposite of love, or I can embrace my love, my passion for life, my passion for my existence and the existence of this world, and I will move forward as that beacon. And that's going to be a very powerful move for you, Aries, because you are that warrior. And as that warrior of love during this time, you are going to be absolutely unstoppable. You're, you're taking time to heal, definitely. You're taking time to step back, to heal, to connect, to know what it is that you want, because you've been through, you've been through the ringer. You have the three of swords right here, the heartbreak, the pain, the disappointment, the eight of cups, having to walk away from something you thought you would love or having to relook it, you know, re reevaluate a situation and saying, okay, it's not going to be the same as it was before, but it's not bad because of that. Right. And you're looking at the heartbreak and you're looking at yourself and you're like, wow, I am I am so much more than I give myself credit for. And that's because you're taking that time to heal, that time to connect. And with the otter spirit, you are never alone. You are loved. You are, I mean, I love that. You have one otter here and you have the other otter here making this beautiful heart. So it's moving forward in love. It's moving forward in that passion. It's having that connectivity all around you, that connection to what it is that you truly desire. And knowing that in this journey, even though at times, yeah, we feel like we're in this all by ourselves, we're not. We're not. We, at the very least, have our angels and our spirit guides around us, which I know that that doesn't, that doesn't help sometimes. It doesn't feel like enough. But to know that there is this divine being around you that wants you to succeed, that wants you to move forward in prosperity and bounty and beauty, I find that to be an astoundingly comforting thing. And I just love that I'm seeing the angel's wings wrapped around you saying, I'm protecting you. I'm moving you forward. And that's how you're moving forward in love. And that's how you're moving forward for the passion that you want within your life. I mean, you have this beautiful connection here with, yeah, okay. So I would actually say you have this beautiful connection with a Sagittarius and a Gemini energy. You can also have it with an earth sign energy, but also know that where you're coming from right now, it's been a long road. And we see that here with the inner strength, with the solar plexus chakra really being, being shining, really being shining, no, really shining forward. Okay. Really having this beauty around it. So here you are finding yourself opening up. There's like this lightning bolt within you and there's this power, there's this purpose, there's this sense of, I know what I desire. I know what I need. Even if you're saying, Dane, I don't, I know that I don't want to be alone anymore, or I know that I want my relationship to be healed, or I know that I want to wake up and be happy about life instead of thinking, oh my gosh, it's another day. There's going to be something else to worry about, something else that's put upon my shoulders. And here with the solar plexus chakra, it's like you are strong and you are beautiful. And you might be saying, because Spirit is saying for a lot of you Aries, it's like, I don't want to always have to be this strong. And that's completely fair. That is completely fair. But you are seizing control of your life and yourself. And yeah, sometimes, you know what? You have to set up really healthy boundaries. And that's going to be something that's really imperative for you. Healthy boundaries, healthy sense of, you know, what needs to be done and healthy limitations on certain people in order for you to move forward. And really listen to your gut, your intuition as a fire sign energy, your intuition is amazing. Listen to it because you're moving forward in play here. You have to remember to have a lightness of heart, to embrace laughing, laughing, laughing and loving and joy and enjoying your life. There has to be the sense of play. There has to be the sense of of beauty and seeing that beauty because that's feeding your heart chakra and that is really making you radiate with love. And as you radiate with love, you have yourself shining through as the queen of wands. Meaning again, I see the queens as being more the directors behind the scenes, the kings, the actors upon the stage. Your main goal as you call love and passion into your life is yes, you're going to be seen because you're a monarch. Okay. You're coming through as a queen. The queens are just seen whether they want to be or not. But you're not going to need that. You're not going to need to kind of like lead the troops into battle type of thing. You're going to be looking at things and you're going to be much more... Spirit is saying calculating, but I don't see it 
really as calculating. You're going to be smart. And as you're being smart about your passion, about your desire, you're really having this connection with a Sagittarius energy. Now, this is also a time frame, November 22nd to December 21st. You are finding a balance. You are finding this balance within yourself. You're looking at your passion. You're looking at what you desire. And you're really calling yourself home. You really are. And as you do this, you are crowned with love. So as you're embracing this power, this passion, this understanding of self, and you're finding that balance within you, that is actually, you know, here, he has like Hermes, I believe it's Hermes, no, Hermes, yeah, wings on his, on his sandals, you know, you're going to take flight, this is going to be healing, this is going to be powerful for you, you're taking aim towards what it is that you desire, and as you do so, right, you're crowned with love. You are crowned with love coming together, with this sense of unity and understanding. It can be that you find the love of your life. It can be. And for a lot of you Aries, you're going to sit there and be like, well, how? And that's, that's fair. I mean, with quarantining and everything like that and everything that's going on, it almost feels like the odds are stacked against you if you're looking for somebody. If you're in a relationship and you've been with your, your partner for this whole time, you might be sitting there and thinking, I, I can't do this anymore. Like, I'm going crazy. We need to be able to go out. We need to be able to, you know, do things. And yes, everything has been lightening up at times, but there is still so much chaos in this world right now that we're looking at things with the, with the, with the lover's card. And this is May 21st to June 20th. And you might look at the world right now and say, I feel so far away from love that it breaks my heart, which I, absolutely fair, absolutely fair. But here there are messages that are coming your way. It's kind of like through the midst of chaos, you are seeing what you are hand fast to, what is truly important in your life, in yourself, in your heart. And as you do so, you have the queen of pentacles right here. The queen of pentacles, earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's embracing your prosperity. It's embracing what you desire. And it's saying that I am planting seeds of greatness to move me forward. And I'm nurturing those seeds. So it's looking at your idea of love. And your idea of love, Aries, for each of you, each and every one of you, is going to be slightly different than the person, the other person's idea. So here, it's looking at your idea of love. It's nurturing it. It's understanding it. It's also looking at the things in your life that have been nurtured that aren't actually giving you prosperity. So when we have fears, when we have anxieties, when we have, you know, bad relationships in our lives and we sit there and we look at it and we think, I don't want that though. I don't want that to perpetuate in my existence. So what seeds do I plant? How do I move forward to have the love that I want guiding me forward? And it's having faith within your richness, within your bounty. And this is wealth or something you value as much as money. You know, this is really actually more something you value as much as money really coming in. Now, it is also that the love that you are calling into your life is worth its weight in gold. You are going to find it to be something absolutely spectacular. And as you look at it, as you harness it, as you understand it, it builds you strength because you're building your narrative. And the cool thing about our minds is that our minds do not know the difference between imagination and reality which is also super scary, you know, if you think about it. So reality is, you know, everything that we live, but imagination. So when you sit there and you daydream about your perfect partner or you daydream about you and your partner just absolutely getting on and everything like that, that sends to your mind that everything is actually going really well. If you daydream about being alone forever and ever and ever, okay, that goes into your mind and your mind thinks that that's truth. And if you daydream about the fights that you've had with your partner or how everything could just go wrong or how they might wake up one day and realize, wow, I could do so much better because we tend to undersell ourselves so spectacularly that that could be what some of you fear. It's like, when does the next shoe drop? Because you've had heartbreak and chaos and disappointment in your past before. And so it's very hard to stop that narrative, to stop that I have to hold my breath. I have to, you know, be prepared for everything to be destroyed. And you're finding that you are way stronger than you think you are. And again, it calls to your strength. And I know a lot of you areas, you're like, I don't want to be strong anymore. It's part of who you are. If you were to be weak, defenseless, and helpless, all right, that would not be your authentic you, and you would be miserable. 
So here it's looking at your strength. It's looking at your power. It's looking at your light and it's having what you desire called to you. And it's moving you forward as it does, as it comes, as what you need comes to you. You have here the Queen of Cups, Water Sign Energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Now, the, the Leo Energy is a time frame of July 23rd to August 22nd. So here, you are really embracing what you love, what you desire. It's almost like in the Gemini time period, May 21st to June 20th, you are finding yourself planting seeds. It's like you're really starting to look at the garden that you want your life to be. Like, look at the way that you want this garden to be laid out. You're planting the seeds, you're harvesting, you're looking at things, you are desiring what you want in life, and you're really setting up the groundwork. By the time we get to, we get to the Leo time frame of July 23rd to August 22nd, there is the sense of knowing what you want to call to you. So of course you have the Cancer time frame in between, and then you have the Queen of Cups, which is love, and of course, water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, coming into your life, moving you forward. Again, it's a part of you. It is a part of your strength and your power, just as your passion is and your prosperity. You are the kind of the overseer of this. You're the director of this scene of yourself. And so as you're looking at things, you know that you need love. You know that you need passion and you know that you need prosperity. And those are going to be key points for you, not just in somebody else, but also in the way that you love yourself. During this time, if you forget to walk forward saying, I am an emotional being and as an emotional being, I need to listen to my heart, you will find that you will not radiate the same power, all right, if you forget to do that, as when you, you know, look at your heart yourself and you say, I need to remember my emotional truth. And it sounds funny, but it's going to be absolutely beneficial because you have something here, Aries, and it's around fire sign energy. It's around passion. All right. And it's like things have fallen apart for you at times. And it doesn't have to be now. It could have been, you know, five, 10 years, 10 years ago, or it can be that you feel like something big is coming and you have this incredible intuitive sense, but you know that there's a change and your life has actually embraced a huge change right here because we have the temperance, the tower, and the, and the strength card. So here, there's this huge power, there's this huge change around you that's coming. And as it comes, and you might have felt this from, you know, the Sagittarius time frame of November 22nd to December 21st, all the way to it's still going to go up until the, the Leo time frame, or however this works for you, but that's how I'm seeing it right now. And the change with the tower is like, ready or not, here it comes. You can't stop it. You might want to stop it because the tower pushes us out of our comfort zone. But what you're seeing here is that as you are calling the passion and the power that you desire into your life, as you are finding this balance, it's all coming because this change could not be stopped. And as you are looking at this power, you are looking at the chaos within you. And you might sit there and for a lot of you, Aries, you are, you're like, I don't want this anymore. I do not want to feel like I'm swimming, I'm swinging at a bee's nest. And all of a sudden, you know, everything's just going to come at me because that's how some of you Aries feel when it comes to love. It's like every single time I open myself up, every single time I desire to move forward towards love, towards passion, towards beauty, I get stung. And that's where you're healing. That's why you're healing. And as you're moving forward, now this can be, if you're in a relationship, you might sit there and be like, every time I'm vulnerable with my partner, they just don't care. And it can be, if you're not in a relationship, it's like every time I try, it just doesn't work out. And it can also be with life in general. You know, every time I strive for what it is that I want, I get hurt, stung, there's chaos around me, I can't move forward the way that I want to. And you're going to see things really starting to change from this chaos time, from this upheaval, from this anger, from this upset. And it's because divinity is actually pushing you out of your comfort zone. And as you're pushed out of your comfort zone, you find balance. Now, is this something you're going to kind of take lying down? No, absolutely not. Aries, you are, 
the emperor. You are the warrior. You are this passionate, determined person who says, "I claim my throne. I've worked hard for it." And as you have that like tremendous masculine energy around you, okay, because the emperor is more than a king, you are going to find that right now you're balanced by this feminine energy coming in, this softer energy, this energy of I can still rule, but I I have a different approach, right? So it's not as forceful. It's not as you know. Black, black and white kind of thing, like white page, black print. It doesn't have to all be laid out like that. So here, as you embrace your heart, you are going to find balance. And as you find balance, you are going to find more of an understanding of the heartbreak, the pain, and the disappointments that you have been through. Now, the Three of Swords is never a nice card. It's always a card of like, wow, because Aries, you've been through a lot. It's like, wow, seriously. And this is just your truth. So you're going to sit there and look at everything you've been through. And you're going to think, well, that was just like Tuesday. You know, that's just my life. But you have to give yourself respect where respect is deserved. You know, look at everything that you've been through. Look at the hardships, the pains, the disappointments that you've had. Look at the way that you've been betrayed in your life. And say, I need to heal. And I need to respect myself for all that I've went through. Not that I need to live here. You know, I need to live here. This is who I am or, you know, who I'm always going to be. This pain, this hurt. I mean, it's it's saying I acknowledge this, but I am so much more. And it's moving forward. You're moving away from it. And this pain and this hurt might have come from people who were supposed to love you, were supposed to protect you. You know, chances taken that just didn't work out well. And with the Eight of, of Cups, you're looking at the bounty that you have, right? You're looking at what you want and you're being super open and honest with yourself because you're walking away from what you once thought you would love. And it's like, this just isn't right for me. And as you walk away, you walk into the balance of prosperity, into the balance of what you've always desired and that belief within yourself. Your subconscious message for this time Is the Ten of Wands. It's time to let go of the load that you are carrying, right? It's time to put it down. It's time to sit there and to say, I'm not going to carry around my hopes and dreams, you know, like weights upon my shoulders. And I'm not going to carry around everybody else's, you know, desires for things. This is again, healthy boundaries being established. And as you put down everything that you've been carrying, you embrace a truth that is powerful for you. And you start to see yourself free. You start to see yourself emboldened. And you've completed a cycle. You've completed a cycle. And what's so interesting, I have to say about this reading, is that you have all the fire signs but you coming forward. And they're all connected to heartbreak. They're all connected to this change. And so it's like you are watching over everything. And as you watch over everything, you stand in the center, right? You're crowned by love and you're rooted in the strength that is you. And you're finding balance because as you find your balance and as you claim your balance, prosperity and love guide you forward. You're going to go through some times where you actually will see here Aries that you have to stop yourself. You'll have to be like, these are old patterns. This is an old way that I would react to something. Life is changing and I'm walking away from the hurt that I've carried for so long. And as I walk away, I release the burdens that have been defining me. And as you release those burdens, your subconscious chakra message is flexibility. But it's also the sacral chakra. The sacral chakra is where we hold a lot of negativity from this life, from past lives, around sexual energy. It can be even around sexual expression. It can be that for, yeah, for some of you Aries, you might not be comfortable Embracing femininity, masculinity, any sort of expression of, of self that you want, okay? And it's because there's this fear that if I let myself be seen a certain way, there will be a vulnerability. And so here with this flexibility, you embrace your passion, your desire, you embrace what you want, and you're going to see the flow of that energy coming forward. And as you see the flow of the energy coming forward, you have your subconscious 
spirit animal message, which is the right white raven, which says trust in the magic. Trust in something that seems impossible. A white raven seems silly. You know, it just seems like they aren't. But they are. They're albino or they're, I don't know, just white. I have no idea. But there's this sense of it isn't what you expect, but it is exactly what you need. So when it comes to love, when it comes to passion, when it comes to this, it isn't going to be what you expect. You know, just kind of like this, the, the love and passion readings. They're, they're not what people expect because they're not going to tell you, oh, you're going to meet this person at this time and everything like that because that's all great. And it can be that, you know, the times correlate and all of a sudden the love of your life is in your life, you know, is a part of you and you could never think of being without that person. But it's also if you don't, it's kind of like if you don't get out of your own way, it won't come and it'll just be pushed off, pushed off, pushed off until it almost feels like, okay, well, this is meant for everybody else but me. And it doesn't mean just meeting somebody. It can mean being happy with the person that you're with. It's kind of like, I just have to settle. This is just the way life is. And that's just what I have to accept. It's like, no, trust in the magic, trust in the magic of this world, because there is such beauty and such greatness that yes, we forget about it because there's also such chaos and such hurt and such pain. And it's really easy just to make that your focal point. But here it's, it's a freeing, it's a freeing of yourself to move forward towards what it is that you truly want within your life and what you truly deserve. All right, Aries, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. Do not forget to focus on your passion and your intuition. You have this tremendous ability to kind of ignite the fire and see and see yourself moving forward very clearly. Yeah. I hope everyone stays safe and I love you all. Bye.